What? <laughs> bam, 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 bam. What's up, guys? Bog Squad, welcome back to Bog Country. Uh, episode ten. Huh? Let's let's get the let's get the screen up. Let's make sure. Who would have thought? Right. Not me. Well, not me. Double no. digits. Wow. We did it. Episode ten. Next big, big step, triple digits. You know what I mean? What? We're tenth of the way there. We'll be there tomorrow. We're just gonna <laughs> stay up all night. There we go. Ninety episodes coming at you guys. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Podcast episode ten. You know, we got some exci- exciting stuff. Exciting. Uh, exciting for sure. Exciting things to kind of talk <laughs> about exciting. at the end of the episode, but first, you got to get to the head-to-head. You got to, right? <laughs> I love this picture, first of all. I think you zoomed in on it since last yeah, time. Yeah, did you tilt I did. it? I kind of cropped it a little bit. I kind of oh, cropped it a little bit. Looks different than normal. Feel yeah. Like. Anyways, right to the first one, first head-to-head. So this is, I almost put food edition uh, but but it's not quite food edition. You'll kind of see. Uh, so it's just head to head things things that you'll eat or drink or something like that. That's kind of the theme we're going with today. Okay. So the first thing we got, and this may end up being really easy. Okay. So I'm thinking like when I go to a restaurant, right? Complimentary things that that I really enjoy. Obviously, you know, I said I had Mexican food last night. Uh, La Luna's. Uh, shout yes. out to the non-sponsor. But um, <laughs> that yet <yeah>, sponsor. <laughs> yeah. So so chips and queso, obviously a, a clutch when it comes to complimentary appetizers. But then I started thinking, well, is there something better than chips and queso? So it's not just it's not just any like generic bread. It's any bread you could think of. It and, and the way I like I like Ramsey. I think you did this a couple episodes ago. It's it's more of a which could which could you do without more than anything. So like chips and queso it from anywhere and bread from anywhere. If one of them had to go, which one are you getting rid of? So you can see from the pictures, I've got obviously just some generic, but at the top, that's, that's Chili's queso. We got some queso blanco and just some, you know, just some generic stuff. But on the right, the, the bread varieties, I'm thinking Texas Roadhouse. Please. You got Red Lobster. Oh. Olive Garden. Okay, and any others you could think of. You know, a lot of people like Outback. I'm not a fan of the Outback bread. But I'm thinking if you had to get rid of one, which would it be? And, and putting them all together like that, you know, not just thinking of one or the other or one specific type of bread, that makes it a lot tougher. And to be honest, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this one, but I'm thinking queso. I think I got to keep, I got to keep the bread. And and what? just for the simple the simple fact of the variety, the variety you get the Cheddar Bay biscuits, <laughs> all right, from from Red Lobster. I could go there and just eat the bread and the, nothing else. Okay, you get the the garlicky like parma Ramsey Ramsey, the garlicky buttery. Oh, we need, we need to listen. No matter how stupid this argument is, we need to listen to it. And the cinnamon butter on the Texas Roadhouse rolls. I, I, I don't know how you can. Okay. I would that. like to jump in here for a second because can someone explain the freaking whoop de doo about the cinnamon butter? Because that's gross. Are it's you gross. serious? I'm serious right now. You like now. cinnamon it's rolls? gross. Have you ever had a cinnamon roll? I love a good cinnamon roll. Well, there's Why butter and cinnamon all in that freaking cinnamon I'm roll. aware it's a pastry. I don't want to take freaking bread and put cinnamon and butter all over it. That's gross. Now, I will but tell cinnamon you. cinnamon roll is bread with cinnamon and it's butter. It's not bread. Oh, my it's God. It's a pastry. It's a pastry, really. It's a pastry, okay, you jackrabbit. Now, Person, here's the which deal. Which is a part of the bread family. It, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Now, okay, a Cheddar Bay biscuit? Oh, boy. Let's talk. Well, you let's can talk. That's what we're doing. Let's talk. I would eat the crap out of those. But when it comes down to it, bread versus queso? 
I don't know that there's any crap inside of a Cheddar Bay biscuit, but you. That was a meta. That was a metaphor. Now you're just trying to argue with. Oh come on, Riggs! All right, you're being real. uh, All you want to do today is argue. You're being really (laughs) nasty right now. I'll tell you that much. All right. Mm. Listen, Helton is correct. You know, me and Helton both looked at each other. You put this up there. Me and Helton looked at each other. I looked at him. He looked at me, and we both go, "What a freaking idiot!" I don't know what we're wasting our time on. (laughs) We said that with our brains, okay? Yes. I love me a nice – listen, I'm on the opposite side of health as far as the, the honey, gar, the cinnamon biscuit, bread, butter, Texas Roadhouse stuff. Yeah. I love it. It's great. I love me a cheddar biscuit. They're awesome. You didn't even say, like, the uh, the bread and the oil and the vinegar you can get from, oh. like, uh, Italian restaurants. Yes. yes. Excellent. It's fantastic. Here's the problem, Riggs. One of – all of our favorite foods is Mexican, okay? And how many of us judge Mexican food places by what type of queso they have? I think we all do. I think we all say, listen, if they don't have good chips and queso, they're not even in the top 10. And you're now saying, well, that's gone out the window. So I'm going to have to stop <laughs> eating Mexican food forever? No. Yes. I just can't. I no. can't get behind this man's logic. I just don't okay. understand it. Okay. I'll eat, listen, I've had the cheddar biscuits like in the frozen package. Just as good. I'll eat them at home. That's fine. I can live like that. Can't live without chips and queso at my Mexican food restaurants. All right. You know what you can do at home? Velveeta. Same freaking thing. Right. Oh, oh my God. That right those there. restaurants only serve Velveeta and Rotel. And you guys know them. You know that them. right there is the number one <laughs> example of him just trying to argue. Okay, I, I'll be honest. I, I was just trying to create because I knew this was going to be a paper, and I was trying so hard to sell the bread. Okay, but here, okay. So I, I figured this was going to happen. What if what if I take the queso off the table and we're just talking about chips and salsa? And That's chips. Easy, bread. I'm, I'm That's okay. bread, one hundred percent. Bread, chips, and salsa all day. Okay, okay. I, I I agree. Uh man, I, I was I really trying to. I really thought, Coleman, I thought you were going to be the one to pick bread because you're a big roll guy. I am a you huge roll guy. You love dinner rolls. And I love the options you have on the on the slide right here, dude. Big I know. Dinner. I thought I might get you. But listen, I looked over there and I saw the freaking uh, Chili's queso. I love me some skillet queso. Mm. I just can't go to a Mexican restaurant and not eat chips and queso. Like Here's – Here's the ultimate, really, to me. So, Because I'm in agreement. I was just trying to push the argument. But I can go to a Mexican restaurant, eat the setup, just the chips and queso, and then get a meal to go. Or not even, you know what I'm saying? Like, not even eat a meal. I can just eat the chips and queso as my meal and be, be completely satisfied with it. I mean, here's the deal. Last night, I also had La Luna. Yeah? Little chicken nacho. Okay. That, that was dinner. Yeah. You can have that. You can have chips as a meal. You, can. you can't have bread as a meal. No, not really. Mm-mm. All right. Here's a, have a, hold on. Let's jump on on the same thought process. Uh, which Mexican restaurant has terrible chips and queso? I'll tell you right now, there's one that I can't stand. It's Chipotle. It is freaking disgusting. Yeah, see, okay. see I don't I ever go to Chipotle, so I, I really don't. I won't go there now. I mean, Riggs and I have higher standards than that, but well, yeah, you have more money than that. Is what you meant to say? All right, <laughs> Qdoba is hands down better. Okay, so not even close. I will say I and some people love it, but Fuzzies, I don't think they have good queso at all. No, I, I'll agree with that. the The thing that Fuzzies has going for them, though, is their chips. That yes. little seasoning they put on yes. the chips makes up for the queso being average. I yeah, agree. I, I agree. All right, next question. Okay, so this is why it's not necessarily food. So this is one I know you two are going to be split on. I feel like I'm going to have to be the deciding factor, but I'm thinking I'm thinking beverages, tea versus coffee. So, so not just not just tea, but like any kind of tea, a hot tea, uh, a iced tea, sweet tea, all those uh, all right. versus you know an iced coffee, a hot coffee, all of the the fitting of the genre. We um, all so know where I'm, going. I'm gonna wait, but I'm gonna see what you guys see. I, I, I think I know what you're gonna say. Cole, but. tell me, tell me where I'll go. You seem to know <laughs> my thoughts so well. Here, here, why don't we switch? I'll be you, and you can be me. All right. Okay. All right. Wait. Hi, my name's Hilton. 
okay? And I really love me a free good coffee, all right? Coffee's the best here. Can't do tea. Got to have my morning coffee. Ooh, Ooh, I'm cold. Go. Blah, blah, blah. I don't like bitter things because I'm a freaking five-year-old. Blah, blah, blah. Give me a flavored tea. That's what I hear when you open your <laughs> stupid go. mouth. <laughs> That's the argument. Yeah. You know yeah. what? Here's the deal. Men wake up in the morning, and we've got to get going. <laughs> All right? We've got to get going. And nothing gets you going faster than some black coffee. All right? I agree. I want it. Now, I want to taste it, and I want to <laughs> feel it burning its way through every part of my being. Hey, no. help. real men, you know what we do when we wake up? What? We don't need something to get us going. We wake up. Ready and to rock and roll. Yeah. Hey, going, all right. I wake up out of bed. Just go. Oh. All I hear is is noise right now. That's fine. That's fine. You just drink your bitter black coffee with no flavoring, like you're a 99 year old man. The rest of us would take buds. We'll take some sweet tea, some raspberry tea, some tea mixed with lemonade, some more okay. honey you, in it. You chill out. I'm having a cup of tea right now. Oh, so you are <laughs> right <using> now. <laughs> All right. I can, right, I so. can enjoy both. I Welcome just like a side. cup of coffee. Right. Welcome to the light side. Okay, so this is, this is tough for me. Obviously, the fence rider of the group. Um, so it, normally, it would be hands down. And, and I'd, I'd be all aboard on the sweet tea. But? There's, there's just about nothing better than a soda pop. But ever since, I, for some reason, ever since Stop. the quarantine started happening, Stop. I have been literally drinking a, a cup of coffee every single day. You got a problem. Hold on. With that being said, it's not which one I drink the most. It's which one do I like the most? And I'm going sweet tea. What the fuck? You did it. Yes. There, I'm I'm just, it's nothing better. You can't beat a, a jug of Milo's, you know, a, a jug of Red Dot. You can't. There's nothing better. You know what I'm saying? So you're not even I'm making coffee. your own? You're not even making your own? No. Oh, you make your own coffee, Helm? Yes, I do, of course, every day. You grow your own beans? You yes. grow your own beans? Yes. And then you steam them and press them yourself? Yes. You're a liar. I roast them. <laughs> I'm going to roast you. You. Uh, try it. <laughs> Look at that, Riggs. I know. I did not think that I'd ever <laughs> be on the same side with Riggs versus Helton. I know. I know. I, okay, so before, we, before we go to the next one, it's so tense today. I just It's so confrontational. I love it. I love it. It's good stuff. It's, it, does, it, it feels right. It feels good right. Content. You know, hey, and this is, you guys haven't even said anything yet, but look at how good the head to heads look, right? I yeah. told you I fancy them up nice. a little bit. I put the little, I'll give him that. The the one I made for the first one wasn't good enough for you, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, last one. So, which one would you rather eat? And it's going to get gross, okay? Uh -oh. Would you rather eat? A handful of worms or a handful of crickets. Now, the, the pictures are misleading, so, you know, we're, we're assuming that they're equal amounts of worms and crickets, not just like there's seven crickets over here and there's a hundred worms in this dude's Are they alive? Head. I'm going to say they're alive. Cool. So, really, I, I, as I put this down, I thought this is going to say a lot more about the texture uh, that you guys prefer more so yeah. than the, the taste because I imagine they probably both taste pretty disgusting. Let's just be yeah. real. So I, I don't know. I go back and forth, but I really I don't think I could I could do a, a whole handful of of just slimy, mushy worms. It just just the idea of having something that's just like so I don't know. Like literally, I think of a gummy worm but it's not gummy, it's like soft, and oh, it just grosses me out. At it's least, soft. like, I, I'm a crunch guy. I love things with a good crunch to them, you know? I want to bite into a crunchy waffle. We've talked about that. You know, I want to I bite into a, a piece of toast that's real crunchy, you know? 
and just or a chip you know it's got a good crunch so i think i could i could handle the cricket a little bit better than i could a mushy like slimy worm i don't know i'm on board um i i could okay the crunch let's be clear they're both disgusting yeah um but i mean people eat crickets it's right. a delicacy right but they're crunchy and i could do the crunch but the thing about a worm just imagine biting into a worm all right. Um, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. It's the same reason why I won't eat like oysters. It just is disgusting. Do you actually like oysters though? Really? Food. I can't, I can't afford oysters. So I wouldn't, uh, never had them before. You have to take out a second mortgage to eat oysters all the time. Can't, can't, they don't let me in restaurants like that. I don't think. <laughs> Olive Garden. Listen. You guys are both idiots, all right? Because we well, all sure. know here, if this is a texture deal, we know where I'm going. Worms. You like slimy. I enjoy slimy and smooth. I like my cereal soggy. I don't like crunch. I'm not a big fan. Hurts my mouth. I don't want to bite into something and have it poke me in the top of my mouth, okay? Can you, like, listen. Can you imagine sticking a live cricket <laughs> in your mouth? And feeling his little feelers <laughs> chomping at your tongue. <laughs> oh God, dude, that sounds hey, awful. Think of think of the music that would be playing in your mouth. It'd be an orchestra of crickets. It would. That would be enjoyable. So oh, hold on. So hold on, Cole. So hold on, Cole. You want to stick a living intestine basically in your mouth. That's oh, all yeah. they are. They're one end of an intestine and the other end. I could probably put them in there and just kind of pull them out, put them back in, pull them out. Put that would not like, be bad at all. I might like, go out in the garden today and go find a worm and eat it just to send you guys a video of me eating a worm. But it, but again, if we're if we're saying one, I could eat one worm over. I would definitely choose one worm over one cricket. I'm and thinking the sure. the amount of each. Amount like, doesn't bother me. I'm slurping up a whole spaghetti of worms is what I'm thinking. A plate Thank of you. spaghetti, but it's worms instead. Um, and I think you could you could get one worm down without having to bite into it. Sure. I could swallow a whole handful of worms without biting them. You couldn't do that with a cricket. Oh, dude, crickets that have to do like this. Yeah, you'd have to. You'd have to chop their it wings. Up. All their wings and stuff like that. Oh, dude, I'm just telling you, this worms would not be bad at all. I might go out and get a handful of worms just to show you guys later. Okay. Check the video. Well, I look. I look forward to that. If I, I can put on Instagram me just going. <laughs> It's uh, now two. It's two twenty-seven. By five o'clock, I expect videos of you eating worms. Can we put anything on them? Because if I could just throw some sugar on them, you really might not be able to tell if they're gummy gu or sour gummy worms or not. Just uh, would you uh, stop? You guys are acting like such children. It's not that bad to eat a worm. One worm, right? You're right. sure one. One worm or a thousand worms, Riggs. All right. No. Completely mm. different. No, this is mm. okay. Y'all are soft. <laughs> Already into current events. Wow. So, uh, current events. First thing I got, Giannis. Now, now, Helton, I know you're not a big NBA fan, but I'm not. Listen, I, I've already heard Ramsey kind of talk about this, and I and I kind of wanted to bring this up more to see see uh, what what Coleman's going to say here. So, Giannis wins the the MVP. <clears throat> Two years in a row now, okay? Uh, you know, gets gets completely embarrassed by the, the Miami Heat and just gets absolutely obliterated out of the, the playoffs. And and I get, you know, it's a full season award and all this stuff, but, but Coleman, how about your guy, LeBron James, getting snubbed from the MVP vote? Well, how, let's, just hear, let's just hear what you have to say about this. Well, you know, it's embarrassing, you know? Yeah. So st the standards for, you know, LeBron are just so ridiculously high. I don't know what more people want him to do other than just dominate the league like he's been doing. And I think a lot of times the reporter guys that vote on it, they just get bored with kind of picking LeBron all the time, even though he's the best. He's in like the 17th year, and he's still destroying all these teams. Giannis can get past the freaking Miami Heat with one good dude, Jimmy Butler. Okay. And, and I know LeBron has came out and said, hey, I'm confused. He thought he probably deserved it. He, he definitely did. 
doesn't know what the criteria for the award is. It's just like a total random, like, oh, well, we think he's the best. Well, why do you think he's the best? Oh, just because what we think. Well, you're an idiot, okay? And not only did he, like, not, like, win, but, like, it was a distant second. Like, it's not like it was close. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. that we're, we're viewing greatness. In 10 or 15 years, people are going to look back at us and say, wow, they really didn't appreciate how good LeBron was, you know? They're going to say, how'd they ever think that Michael Jordan was better than LeBron? What a bunch of idiots. Because everybody. I can swear I knew we were going. LeBron okay. Way so better. hold on. Hold on one second. Way I knew it was coming. And that's, it was all a setup because I wanted to hear you say it on uh, the broadcast for the world. I'll put Do it you up. think LeBron freaking James is Go the ahead. greatest of Wait. all time? Listen. He may be not even in the top five. Not even in the top. I can – listen. Michael Jordan. Kobe Bean Bryant is a better, a better option for the GOAT than LeBron. How? 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 What category is Kobe better than LeBron at? I've got one. Five rings Kobe has. Okay. So, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. Who's no, we're that? talking about – no, you – okay, you can throw the Robert Ory thing out there. We're talking about who's the best player on that finals team for all Michelle these – Michelle O'Neal was the best player on some of Kobe's teams. No, no. Dude, you're being ridiculous. No, okay. I'm going to come through the screen. I'm going to come through the screen and choke you out. Hey. Listen, gonna, listen. Not today. It's you, not happening. You want to know why, why LeBron will never be the GOAT? <laughs> Because he can't you know. give up the freaking hair. He won't just let them <laughs> realize that he is bald. He is bald. I agree with and that. He is he fighting is it. He is fighting he, it too hard. And it's it's really in his head more than anything. He is he so mentally fixed. destroyed by the fact that he can't handle being bald when it's the greatest thing in the world. And, and he's he's so caught up with fighting his hair that he can't be the GOAT. Yeah, he can't I, be the I, best basketball player of all time. That's why Michael Jordan, bald. Kobe Bryant, bald. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, bald. All bald. these guys, bald. What I finally you? feel like I can get into this conversation at this point. LeBron. Now, I will say this. One thing, and, and I, I, I don't want to speak ill against his memory, but one thing about Kobe is, yes, he was bald. Um, but he had a very tiny nose and we all have very, we all have very proud noses. And I, I feel like that might discount him a little bit. Listen, I'm a big Kobe fan. I always thought he was a really good basketball player. I think he's definitely in the top five of greatest of all time. Unfortunately for him, LeBron James is just number one. Michael Jordan's probably number two. You can put Kobe at three. I would accept that. This is going to be on video for the rest of time. Good. I want the world to see. I was pushing this. What's the date today? Today is September 19th, 2020. And mm -hmm. Coleman Ramsey is one mm -hmm. of the first people saying LeBron James, number one. Michael mm -hmm. Jordan, number two. Mark mm -hmm. it down. Mark it down. Now, now here's, here's where I'm going to put your words against you a little bit because you're over here saying that that, uh, you know, talking about, about Kobe saying Shaquille was the best player on the team. LeBron's not even the best player on his team right now. Stop. So if you want to argue about who's yes. the MVP, Stop. Anthony Davis has way more right to the MVP than freaking LeBron. Are you kidding me? <laughs> He's the better player right now. No, are we not. talking about no, or are we talking about who's better right now? LeBron's still better than Anthony Davis right now. Davis. No. Anthony Davis. No. Best player on the Lakers. Not true. <sighs> Anyways. You're an idiot. <laughs> Guys, we got some exciting news. Uh-oh. It's uh -oh. spooky season. It's spooky season. It is spooky season. Now, I don't know exactly when we're officially going to put this merch up. Okay, so it's, it's actually already for sale. And we've, we've got the links. We can post those. But there's a little issue going on. Look glitch. Price. So, so uh, just keep checking back. We'll, we'll, you know, check the twit, check the IG, and, and we'll kind of we'll keep you guys up to date. But these spooky season shirts are a done deal. They're happening, okay? 
They're yeah. going to be 20 bucks. They're long sleeve, spooky season. I put the I put the picture right here in the middle. That's each of our little faces. Look at us. Don't we look so spooky? I love that little picture. Ready? Now here's the here's the thing. Um, these should at the latest be up Monday. Yeah. And like I said, you could purchase one right now, um, but there's a tiny glitch, and we don't want to get you guys messed up. So. Yeah. Hold off for just a little bit, but I'd say by Monday morning we we've, we've got them out. Bog merch this is, is here, man. This is just merch number one. Number one. We've got more in the works, but we don't want to share them with you quite yet. And everybody says all the proceeds from the spooky season shirts <laughs> will go to a great cause, uh, furthering the podcast. That's the <laughs> that's the cause. We are we are actually going to attempt to take this kind of mainstream. So if uh, if you want to help us do that and not just record our Zoom calls and put them on YouTube, um, that's uh, that's what this money would be going to. Yeah. Hey, this will be an exclusive club. Not everybody's going to have these, and it's a one-time sale offer. Once we get the pre-orders in. Uh, hey, it's over with. They're never coming back. This is going to be an exclusive collector's item here in about five or ten years. You know, you're going to say, hey, I got the first piece of Bog merch when it came out in 2020. And, and people are going to look at you like, you're like, what? That's, a, that's crazy. <laughs> and we want, you know, we want you guys to show how proud you are to be part of the Bog Squad. So, that's right. no get doubt. on there. Well, I mean, that is episode ten. That's a short one, guys. Pretty short. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty straight to the point with that one. Now, um, that's double digits, guys. I know we've kind of talked about it off the 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 cast, but like ten episodes. Really, I mean, if you count the the uh, what do they call it, the pilot episode, pilot. and the one that uh. Helton destroyed. You know, we've done 12. We've done 12, technically. So. And those are lost episodes. Maybe one day, like, the maybe. sound recording of that one will be released. Maybe. See, I feel like that episode, like, there needs to be some rumors going around what was said in the episode. Like, why'd they delete it? There needs to be some secrecy or, like, somebody said something they shouldn't have said. Maybe we leaked something about the JFK assassination. You know, <laughs> the government shut us down. Bog Squad, if you want to start a rumor about what happened to episode two, <laughs> um, I think that would be a lot of fun, frankly. Okay. Uh, a happy new year to our Jewish friends. Yesterday oh. was Jewish New Year. So, right. how does that work? Well, the same way regular New Year's works. Well, not regular. You know, you know what I mean. No. Like, like, so they just, they recognize the year as starting. I think it's a lunar, lunar thing, uh, but it starts at sundown. So it's kind of like Chinese New Year? Sure, except on a different cycle. Those always confuse me. I never really get the whole different year thing. Yeah. I don't know. It's I not, it's not anything. That's because we're, that's because we're white guys. You think? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I think we should all start on a different day. We all need to start on the, like, the shortest day of the year. Whenever that is. What do they call that? Solstice or something? The winter solstice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when the calendar should start. That's in a day we can all agree upon. But the, but the calendar starts like 10 days after that. Well, bump it back. Sorry. January 41st. That's the ne January 1st is the winter solstice. And then we'll just start over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Well, how, how about we, you know, we talked last time about getting uh, on the, the metric scale. What if sure. we did a metric calendar? Riggs, you looking into this? Mm. So, so you're dividing. Well, how do you do that? Well, yeah, they so did that. 10 months? 10 months a year. Yeah. Days per month or 100 days per month. I don't know. Okay. So the French did that back in the 1700s. Decimal calendar. It's the same time that they tried to go over to decimal time. Wow. The 1700s? Yeah. Okay, the French, the French Republican calendar, um, also called the French Revolutionary calendar, was a calendar, blah, 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 blah. Here are the months. Okay. Um, 
Oh, they're wow. all in French. I don't want to read those. But every, <laughs> every week had 10 days. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and every mo- year had 10 months. Perfect. This is very confusing. Nah. Let's do it. So how many days are in the month then? I mean, it'd be 30. Like, it appears three. that there are 30 days in each month. There you go. So every week is 10 days. Love it. And three weeks in a month. Perfect. And then some of the months had extra days to make it fit the, yeah. like, the normal calendar. We don't need to do that. Right. The actual task <laughs> of the... Add them all at the end. The... Okay. Huh. Hey, don't worry. That's the next bog merch, maybe. Decimal calendars? Hey. <laughs> oh, okay. So, actually, on that note, we have been talking about making calendars. That may be some of the bog merch, and maybe they are decimal. Um, maybe we need to come up with our own months. <laughs> oh. Well, we do know Bogtober's coming up. Yeah. And, uh... Bog Savings and Bog Vember, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Bogmas. Bogmas. Yeah. And then Boguary. Yeah. Bob you Bog, Boguary. <laughs> Very dark month, Boguary. Bog Boguary is, is the <laughs> nastiest month. Bog Timber is really going pretty quickly. You know what I mean? You're blinking. Bog timber's right. over. You know? It really is. The eye to bog, you know, right, Hilton? Bog Bogch. Bog. Bog. <laughs> I don't know if that one works. Bog, <laughs> bog girl. Well, you know, we only need 10 Boggy. out of 12, so maybe yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to cut some of maybe these Maybe we can out. cut some of them now. Yeah, okay. yeah. Bo- bog ch- is not going to be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> bog why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know how you do bog, 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 bogoon. Bogoon? Bogoon. Hey, we're not getting rid of my birthday month, all right? Boge. Bog. I think we just call it Boge. 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 B O G E. Sounds fancy. I know. I kind of like it. Well, anyways, uh, that was episode 10. Short, sweet, and to the point. We did it. We did Thanks it. for sticking with us through 10 episodes, Bog Nation. That's a big, it's a big deal. Is that a birthday candle? Uh huh. Okay. Blow it out. <laughs> Thanks, and Bog just- Squad. And just like that, the episode is over. Bog, bog, bog. Bog, 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 bog.